Alright, how's it folks and welcome to the next episode of my Hogwarts Legacy playthrough where we're going to continue on with the main quests which involve um, that goblin we helped out earlier and speaking to our Amit because he can apparently speak Gobbledygook and there goes peace down the stairwell and Amit should be at the top here, oh there he is Alright Hello, Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know Gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Okay, so we're not traveling together. Thank you for being willing to help me, Amit. You are very welcome. I'm looking forward to meeting your friend, Lord Gok. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of... Sorry, I thought you had something worth speaking about. So let's just force travel over there. Over there is. Okay, so down here. The mine's eye. Let's, let's see what all the fuss is about. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. I'm sure. Okay, here's Lord Gok. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. A good castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. 
Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bacalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I am. Um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. Alright, let's go sneak into the barn then. is looking at us. <laughs> oh, those are thick. That's a very thick door. Got the same enchantment as those um, chests. That one like puppies Books when you open really them up. prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Good at sneaking about. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple advice. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. There we go. Steam pulled. <laughs> Accidentally knocked him out. <laughs> And then you had to, to teleport it in. Okay. I still can't believe we're inside the real goblin mine. And there we go. Oh. Just gives me some money. Revenue. Just keep moving. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Back here. Such we need to be careful. As I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lodgok, to say the least. Revelio. This might be the best I've ever had in What was that? Matter of time till Ranrock sets things right. Watch your step round here. Get us through here safely, Armit. You have my word. Akio! Okay, sorry about that little disturbance, but. I'll be quiet. 
Uh, have to deal with something, but I'm back now. Revelio. Confringo. Oh, he even whispers Confringo. Thought he just whispered like Revelio or whatnot. What did that Revelio. do? All right. Was for this thing. Akio. Oh, it's to. Yeah, I'll open up that one. Okay. Guardian Leviosa. Okay, that didn't work. As I was expecting, but we still got through. Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? Oh, it's for this chest up there. Okay. Let's keep moving on then. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. <laughs> our meat. Let's take a look around our meat. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. A schematic. They're building something. Revelio. Couldn't quite make it out. Curious. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Okay, the quarters seem to be empty. There we go. That's the last lawyer. Unfortunate, really. I'd imagine most goblins to be brilliant and kind. Revelio. Another plan. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Let's keep moving on. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that Rebellion. I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Much worse. Another boiler. This place is more complex than I had. Confringo. Revelio. Get our stuff to bat sneaking around. But the combat fun still so not too much of an issue. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. What's up here? Okay. 
some more loot, but what's... I think there was a chest here. Yep, there we go. Looks like we gotta crawl our way back. And now let's move on. Revelio. Okay, go on. Can't go through that way. Revelio. Wait. Oh no, that was the great. Accio. Oh, it opens up this path here. Okay, it's asking us to go Devil's that way, snare. so we'll go this way. Lumos. We're not careful. Not an entanglement we need right now. Okay, cave with some. Revelio. Did you, you say not? That seems to be it. Lumos. Lumos. Quite a big um, cave system they've got going on here. When the war is over, goblins will rule over wizards and. There we go. I'm famished. What's that? Who's there? Should be the last of them, I'll meet. Rebellion. Like a full on factory system. There we go. That's <laughs> only five gold. Akio. Right, it's one of these stores first. And then that one. Gives me a lift. Revelio. Oh, I thought that was collection chest. I don't think I found all the plans. I'd best keep looking. Oh, is that the exit then? So we have to go back down. <laughs> I keep locking a meat out. Or well, he doesn't enter the lift fast enough. Go for that. Okay, let's keep moving in the meter. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgott what we found. Revelio. Yeah, that seems to be all of it. Here we go. You joined us this time. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. 
Revelio. Gotta go this way first. Alohomora. Revelio. There we go, there's a connection piece I was looking for. Revelio. Oh, that seems to be all of it, except for a bit more moonstone. Wasn't getting auto targeted. We're almost out of here, Armit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. All right, that's that done. Can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. <laughs> I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado... At you. I can respect that. He's had enough of adventure for a lifetime. Confringo. Okay, so much for them blowing up. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research and I know of the container. Ah, the reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but... I don't know. 
After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodcock, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Sort of gone full circle with the story now. Bring back to Miriam and that key. Revelio. I hope Professor Fit. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. I should probably fast travel there. Oh, we've got a whole bunch of side quests opened up again now. Maybe this will allow me to do the next broom trial. Which I, I'll admit I kind of enjoy doing. Again, wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. What are we looking for today? An enhancement that significantly increases your broom's acceleration and speed for 4,000 gold. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound <clears throat> presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However... If you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find a Melda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. All right, we're going to do the next meeting. The next room trial. But before that, let's put our Quidditch gear on. Seeing as I haven't actually worn that yet. Um, let me just find the actual Quidditch coat. This one, Quidditch robe, yeah. Then there was... A hat, I think, that came with it. Yep, yeah, Quidditch Captain's helmet. <laughs> yeah, let's keep these good on. And were they gloves? Quidditch Captain's gloves, yep, bigger. 
and was there an outfit to go with it? I think there was. Oh, here. British captain's uniform. And goggles? I'm not sure if they were. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's just go on the quest and look for where the broom trial is. Okay, we're gonna have to fly there first. So the fastest fast well the closest fast travel point is down here. Where we had to where we spoke to that woman who wanted Guinea, that special what Durical or Dodo that she wanted to use for um, uh, the feathers for her fashion then I should investigate oh, it's been a while since I've actually done this Let's go fly on. I'll win for Past the highway. I've been out here too long. Show yourself. Someone's here. I It is a beautiful looking game, this. Didn't think I know. I see you. This place has seen better days. Slow down now. There we go. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Over here. Let me get my leeches first. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... Thank you. I know I can be <laughs> impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. Get ready to lose, Ravenclaw. Alright, let's do this. That wasn't too difficult. <laughs> oh, blast. Ah, this is train apparently. Yeah. That was much better. Brilliant flying, if I do say so myself. Better now, or at least calmer. 
not doing as many panic turns. Missiles once completely. Didn't spot them. Yeah, I really have to focus more on this uh, when I'm actually farting. Excellent. There we go. Ah, ha, ha. This is rather fun. Huh. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Okay, can I continue now? something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puzzlemere United. And my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me, I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. I don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen... You might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here. Fifth year. Not bad for a Ravenclaw. You take care of yourself. All right. Back to the broom trials, I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. Let's pop a couple of balloons. Hello, what's down here? Oh, duck box. Can just ignore them. There are no more balloons around here. Who lived here, I wonder? Okay, let's look for the nearest fast travel point and then move on. Well, I think this is a pretty decent place to end the episode. We'll continue on the next one doing one of the companion quests, either map size or um, puppies. We shall see. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day. Cheers for now. Where's my favourite test flyer? Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well then. 
The best upgrade yet, it flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that! Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you! At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade! What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? I aim to make spint witches the most sought-after shop in Ogsmead. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself, just for the thrill of it. Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades, proved the naysayers wrong, made all the hard work worth it. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. <laughs>